Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Charlie Nice. It is the 13th of March, 2025, and we have a significant severe weather threat shaping up for the nation's heartland down into the south. And that's gonna be developing Friday into Saturday. Let's take a look at it and highlight it with hot spot weather where these problem areas are going to be. The first area, Friday in the nation's midsection into the Mississippi River Valley. Severe thunderstorms are possible along with tornadoes. Some of those tornadoes could be strong. That area shifts into the southeast as we head into Saturday, into Saturday night. And again, severe thunderstorms will be possible. Tornadoes and some of those tornadoes could be strong. Here's the way the Storm Prediction Center is kind of painting the picture over the next few days. Now, for Thursday on the 13th, there is a chance, a marginal chance of severe weather, mainly across parts of Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. This is not the main system. This is a system that's coming in much weaker, but it could have some strong thunderstorms that go severe with hail and high winds mainly. The overall tornado threat with this is very low. There's just not a lot of wind shear with this system. It's the systems coming up behind that as we head into Friday. Friday, this is the way the Storm Prediction Center now has a moderate risk, a level four out of five of severe thunderstorms for parts of Missouri, Illinois, into the northwestern corner of Tennessee and also western Kentucky. Around that is an enhanced risk. Beyond that is a slight risk. So there is the chance of severe weather basically from the Gulf Coast all the way up to almost the Canadian border around the Great Lakes at least with the focus of the most intense thunderstorms and your greatest risk for tornadoes would be in this area from Mississippi, Alabama, up through Missouri, Illinois, into Iowa. The Storm Prediction Center has a 10% hatched area, meaning and this is for the outlook for tornadoes within that area. And that means that there's a 10% chance of severe weather and a tornado within 25 miles of any one point. And that hatched area, the black area is showing that that means there's the potential for an EF2 or stronger in this area as well. So you definitely have to be on your guard from Mississippi, Alabama, West Tennessee, up into Missouri, Illinois, and also parts of Western Kentucky on Saturday is this arc of severe thunderstorms with the potential for tornadoes that swings through this area Friday into Friday night. Then the area of severe weather with the greatest risk shifts down to the southeast, and this is on Saturday into Saturday night for parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. You're under a moderate risk, again, a four out of five risk for this area for significant severe weather and around that an enhanced area goes all the way up into Tennessee and a slight risk goes all the way up to again the Great Lakes. So anywhere in this area could be seeing strongest severe thunderstorms. Your greatest risk for widespread severe weather appears to be focused down over parts of Mississippi, Alabama, down into Tennessee. And this is the overall risk, not just focused on a tornado, but the overall risk includes a 45% chance, almost a 50-50 chance of seeing significant severe weather within 25 miles of any one point across parts of Mississippi into Alabama on Saturday into Saturday night. And again, that hatched area is indicating that there could be significant severe weather. All right, let's break it down with the computer models. This is the GFS. The system that's gonna be bringing all this intense weather is right now continuing to push through California. We've had flash flood warnings, and we've also had some heavy rains and mountain snows across California over the last 24 hours. And as we go through the day on Thursday, that will gradually shift out into the Rockies, reform on the lee side of the Rockies into this big, big storm system and that will be pushing through the Mississippi River Valley as we head into Friday. So here we go. This is in the afternoon on Friday, Friday afternoon into Friday evening. There's that arc of what's expected to be severe thunderstorms running from parts of Iowa all the way down into Missouri, Arkansas, and about to push into West Tennessee, also another area down over Mississippi. That pushes uh, north and east and it weakens, and then we see that new area, that refocusing of the severe weather down across the southeast, Mississippi, Alabama, into Tennessee on Saturday. This is early Saturday afternoon. And then that will shift off toward the east as we go into Sunday morning. The thunderstorm stretching 
from parts of New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia into Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina, and eventually it all pushes off into the Atlantic Ocean. A little closer inspection, though, of what's going to be happening. This is kind of focused in on the Midwest as this system comes in during the day on Friday into Friday afternoon, and you watch how that arc of spinning thunderstorms runs from the plains into Iowa and again into Missouri. This is during the afternoon on Friday and then more thunderstorms Friday evening into Friday night. In any of these thunderstorms throughout this area, there's going to be a tremendous amount of shear in the atmosphere, spin in the atmosphere. So any of these thunderstorms not only could be containing gusty winds and hail, damaging winds at that, also could be producing tornadoes as it pushes off toward the north and east. And then gradually that weakens and starts to break apart as we head into the early morning hours of Saturday. And that's when we see the refocusing down to the south. So let's refocus down to the south and take a look at what's going to be going on there. First of all, the system that's coming through on the 13th on Thursday, you see a few thunderstorms working through Mississippi and Alabama. Some of those could contain some gusty winds and maybe some hail, and that's why that marginal risk of severe weather is there. But then Friday comes the main system to the north across Missouri, Iowa. That's the area that'll have the potential for the significant severe weather on Friday. Then Friday night, thunderstorms start to develop across Mississippi and Alabama on the tail end of this system. That works across the area with one chance of severe weather. But then the more significant severe weather threat here for the Deep South develops on Saturday. This is Saturday around midday, a warm front lifting to the north with more thunderstorms redeveloping. And then this line across Arkansas down into Louisiana, any of these thunderstorms could be strong to severe and then this will continue to fill in with even more activity during the afternoon and evening on Saturday which is when the most significant severe weather threat is expected for this area. Now how much instability, how much energy will we have when we take instability and shear and combine them you get the energy helicity index. That's the amount of spin in the atmosphere plus the amount of energy to get these storms going, convective of available potential energy. And you can see here, it's focused to the west and north on Friday. That's where we see the greatest risk for those damaging thunderstorms. Then it really peaks during the evening on Friday into Friday night. And from Missouri back into Arkansas along the Mississippi River, that's where we see one maximum. Then during the overnight, Friday night into early Saturday, a little bit of a waning, then it redevelops and look at the intensity as we go through Saturday. Again, Saturday midday, it's focused on Mississippi and that will shift into Alabama. So it does appear that we're going to have not only the shear, but the instability also to really fire these thunderstorms. So here's the, the bottom line. If you live in these areas that we just talked about on Friday, Mississippi River Valley, back into Missouri, Iowa, also Arkansas, West Tennessee, Western Kentucky, Illinois, any of those areas, make sure that you have a way to hear warnings during severe weather. And then the refocusing of that area with the most intense activity potentially happening, Mississippi, Alabama, into Tennessee on Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Again, please have a way to hear any kind of weather warnings. This is going to be a major event if it pans out the way that the models are calling. It looks like the stage is set for a significant severe weather event. So make sure that you are prepared if you live in these areas. Also, stay tuned to your local media and local National Weather Service offices for those local watches and warnings during this event. You cannot get more accurate than those local warnings coming out of the National Weather Service and have a way to hear the warnings. Make sure you have a weather radio. Make sure that you have an app on your phone. Make sure that you're paying attention and you're staying weather aware during the day Friday into Saturday, Saturday night, and then again on Sunday. If you need help formulating your severe weather safety plan, check out this video. And then also in my YouTube shorts, I have lots of tips on severe weather safety and also tornado facts. So check those out as well. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.